how to say I love you. I love you. A little phrase that can be life-changing. Love tends to get thrown about so casually and loosely, but when you use it in that particular way, to a particular person, then it takes on a whole new meaning, a meaning that you don't take lightly and that you don't want the other person to take lightly either. This is why it's important to know how to say I love you in a way that's meaningful and deep. The following may help. 1. Save it at first. Saying those words will make expectations rise, and you don't want to lead somebody on if you do not want them to make plans for the future based on your casual words. Being spare will also build up suspense, so that when you finally do say it, it's more laden with meaning and all the more precious. There will come a time when saying it often will be called for. However, until you get into a full-blown exclusive commitment, save it. 2. Speak your love. Speak it again. Speak it still once again. These words by the editors of McCall's Magazine in 1959 still ring true today. You can never say it enough. Say it when you wake up and when you go to bed. Say it before parting for the day and when meeting up again. Say it when you call, email, send SMS. Say it every chance you get. When you're at the grocery store, hold up a berry. Look him in the eye and say, I love you very much. When her back is turned, sneak up to her, hug her from behind, and whisper into her ears. When he's watching TV, hand him his favorite beverage and say it. You know you'll never get tired of hearing it. Neither will your partner. 3. Say it in other words. Affirmation, encouragement, appreciation, gratitude. Be vocal about all the positive things your loved one does. Don't wait until you see something exceptional before making a comment. Everything he or she does for you is worthy of notice. Neglect and disregard can really drain a person's emotional bank account. On the other hand, positive reinforcement will make a person bloom. 4. Seek to touch. Physical contact reduces mortality rates in babies. It also does so for relationships. Touch is a powerful communicator. It doesn't have to be sexual in nature, a quick peck on the cheek, or even the temple. Tucking hair behind a girl's ear, a playful smack on a guy's arms, all convey a desire to connect, to be present, to be there for your partner. Snuggle up close when watching TV. Walk side by side, not behind or before. Hold hands. All are small acts that yield big benefits. 5. Spend time together. Sure, you need your time out with the guys or girls. However, a relationship that has to fight for time with a lot of other priorities is going to suffer some serious consequences, not the least of which is the emotional distance that's going to creep in. Your loved one shouldn't have to vie with all your other interests. If you love him or her, then you will want to spend time together. Just knowing that you care enough to set aside time is a powerful way of saying, I love you. It shows your partner that he means a lot to you, or that you care enough to want to be with her. It's as simple as that. 6. Serve your partner, not as a doormat or a slave. However, loving someone entails acts of service to help make life easier, better, or happier for your loved one. The purpose of having a partner is to have someone to share life with, along with its difficulties and day-to-day -day realities. It is a mutual responsibility. If you keep taking without giving back, or if you give but count the cost, your partner will feel the strain, even if you keep saying you love them. If you want to tell someone that you love them, you have to act it out. 7. Send gifts. Buy or make them stuff. Saying, I love you through presence makes someone feel loved, secured, and thought about. Even if you have no money with which to buy presents, especially extravagant ones, you can make something for them. The important thing is that they know you care enough to want to express your love through your wallet. A wise man once said, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Money spent on a loved one is not an expense. It is an investment in your own happiness and your future. Do not skimp. 
There are many ways other than just mere words to express your love. These tips will not just show you how to say I love you. By following them, you will convince your loved one of your genuine affection.